Hey guys, this is Fury91, and I'm continuing on the series of what I want to see at E3 2021. And this time I'm talking about Nintendo. So I don't actually have that much things I want to talk about here because, see, I'm not much of a Metroid Prime fan. I don't think I've ever really played, like I may have tried it out, but never really played through the Metroid Prime series. Now, if I saw some gameplay of Metroid Prime 4, I'd probably still enjoy it, but I just didn't really play the series. But there are two things I really would like to see at Nintendo's E3 conference. And the first one is Super Mario Party. It came out almost three years ago, right? But just recently, they brought on an update which allowed you to play the party mode, the partner party mode, and the mini games online. So why would they do that? Why would they, like, almost three years into the game's life cycle, bring this new update that I think a lot of people probably wanted from day one? I'm thinking maybe, may, just maybe, we are going to get some DLC announcement for Super Mario Party. Maybe that's why they updated it recently because maybe we're going to get some like new maps. Hopefully, that's the biggest thing I want. I know I would I, new characters would be cool as well, but I really think the biggest thing I want is new maps for that game because they haven't done much with that game basically since it came out. This last update was the last big thing I think they did with Super Mario Party since it came out almost three years ago. So that's what I'd look forward to probably seeing the most. The second thing I really want to see in Nintendo's Direct is some update on Nintendo Online service. On t Nintendo Online service, it's definitely not where it should be, I believe. Like, remember how, you guys know how with like Xbox, two people can be signed in on the same console with two controllers, right? So when they go and play these games, they can be on their own profile, even if they're using the same console. Now with Nintendo Switch, the game has to do that. In other words, you can only sign into one person's profile, I believe, right? On the actual Switch itself, and then, the game would have to add that in there, I believe, where you could have multiple people signed in at the same time. I think that's something you have to do in-game on the Switch, not like just on the Switch itself. And that creates a problem, I think, because if me and somebody on my Switch both want to use our usernames in whatever game we're playing, because we both want progression for whatever game we're playing, then we can't really do that unless the game itself allows that. So that's what I'm saying. I think Animal Crossing New Horizons allows it, but I don't think a good amount of games allow where you can actually have multiple people signed in on the same Switch. So that's an improvement I would like to see maybe announced with Nintendo Switch Online. But I'd also, just in general, like to see updates on the online. It's just not where it should be. It's not nearly, I think, as accessible, I want to say, or maybe as convenient as the PSN or Xbox Live is. I really think they need to make some improvements. Also, I'd hope that they add maybe a new controller that allows you to actually hook up a microphone to it because that's something I think that would really improve online interactions for a lot of people. But other than that, there's nothing else I'm really thinking I'm look, really, really looking forward to seeing at Nintendo's Direct, other than like a lot of surprises. Nintendo tends to do a good amount of surprises at their Direct, so other than a lot of surprises and what I mentioned, there's not much else. But what would you guys really like to see at Nintendo's Direct this year? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.